This is your three-minute radiation alert, U.S. forecast and sun report for Thursday, July 12, 2012. An overall increase in radiation levels on the west coast of the U.S. is being reported by Radiation Watch on Facebook today. The message reads as follows. All the Radiation Network West Coast North America Inspector Geiger counter graphs are seen an uptick currently. These are longer term data sets from the last 12 to 14 hours, not short time samples. Graphs are available to view on the Facebook group page Radiation Watch. These graphs are most useful viewed over time, weeks or months to examine for trends. Recently, spotlights on the roof of Reactor 4 were used during demolition work. It had been noted by several observers that this could be a fire event, but at no time have I observed smoke from this area. However, this upward trend of radiation levels is concerning, and if it continues along the west coast, it may need to be considered. Moderate rainfall is occurring from Bakersfield south to San Diego. It is strongly advised to avoid this rainfall until radiation levels can be further assessed. A full radiation fallout forecast for Canada, the U.S. and Europe will post on Friday, July 13th. Also, a long duration event X flare occurred on the Sun shortly after 1 p.m. today Eastern Standard Time. This flare was a major eruption from sunspot 1520 and also produced a coronal mass ejection. The potential impact area is centered on the subsolar point on the sunlit side of Earth. The extent of high frequency radio communication disruption is yet to be determined. You may access sun and sky tools on our webpage, fukushimafacts.com. You will also find links there to radiation monitors in real time for Japan, the U.S., and Europe. Also be advised that Earth-directed solar events can cause spallation of high atomic weight fallout into iodine-131. Please limit all outdoor activity for children as a precaution. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.